Hi, good job using tryruby.org for write your first Ruby application. Uh, this time we are gonna use something called a workspace. The workspace we are gonna use is called Cloud9. A workspace let us work in the cloud, use Ruby commands, Ruby language, without to have Ruby installed in our computer. So for learning purposes, we are gonna use Cloud9 for set up our Reds, uh, our Ruby applications. So the first thing we're gonna do is create an account here. So let's go and type, and click sync up. So let's choose a username. Okay, so I typed everything here and <clears throat> let's confirm our email okay so open the cloud9 email and verify our account okay account verified sing in okay so let's type okay so so <clears throat> just wait until it loads okay so here we are on our workspace uh, so the first thing the first thing we're gonna do is create a new workspace just click create a new workspace here and then we have to select our uh, programming language in this case we are gonna use Ruby on Rails so we're just gonna use the Ruby section but in the next courses and everything in the next videos we are gonna use Ruby on Rails but for now just click here and create oh I forget to, to tell you the name so here video courses so you can type here what whatever you want just create sorry create okay Okay, so here in the left panel we have VD courses and this is our workspace. We just click here and click start editing. Okay, so we'll click here, wait until it loads. And here we have a whole workspace so we can just begin to work here. Um, we're just gonna use the command line for now. So just, just, um, do not worry about it, anything here but let's begin so here we have the common line and we can do we can just check if Ruby is installed here so we can just type here Ruby version uh, here here it says the Ruby version we got uh, but okay it's Ruby version double dash here okay so here ruby 2.1 and uh, the, the the other part of the string return here yeah, just don't worry about it right now um, so here we have our workspace set up in the next video we are gonna begin creating the the files and everything and create our first application in Ruby using files and so 